I was originally diagnosed with stage two triple negative breast cancer in January of 2010. I went through six rounds of chemotherapy with a chemotherapy agent called TAC. I followed that up with 33 rounds of radiation. And at the end of September 2010, I was declared cancer free. When you walk into the cancer center, these are the first faces that you'll see. And they always have a wonderful smile and a nice hello. In addition to the beautiful ladies at the front desk that greet you when you walk in, one of the first things you'll see at the Rex Cancer Center is our cancer resource room. And this is a tremendous library wealth of information, books, pamphlets that patients can take. There's also a bank of scarves, hats, and wigs that patients are able to borrow if they you know, need something to uh, cover their head while they're going through chemotherapy. So this is our oncology waiting room. And I come up and check in when I get to the cancer center. Good morning, Ms. Terry. I'm very good, it's nice to see you. The people here are angels. They are, always have a nice smile on their face and something to say, they treat you like a member of the family. I can't say enough about them. I found out September 2011 that my cancer had returned. I was fortunate to enter a clinical trial using some experimental drugs, a phase three clinical trial, and I had a tremendous response to the clinical trial. Your name gets called and it's time for blood work, you'll come back into the laboratory area. Uh, for patients like me who are getting chemotherapy regularly, I have what's called a, a chemo port, um, which is just under the skin. So instead of having to stick my arm every time I need blood drawn, they can draw it right through my port. They can also infuse my chemotherapy right through the port. It's much less painful and much less risk of blowing veins. Um, from here, it's into one of the examining rooms with, um, with your doctor or physician's assistant, whoever you're seeing for the day. Standing with me is Dr. Jeremiah Bowles, who is my oncologist here at the Rex Cancer Center. Coming into being diagnosed with stage four breast cancer, I was incredibly nervous and apprehensive, and Dr. Bowles immediately put me at ease, immediately said, we've got lots of things we can do for you. We're gonna take great care of you. The benefit here is that we have everything under one roof, so to speak. We have our surgeons, our radiology, our radiation oncologists, and, and chemotherapy and it can all be delivered uh, in a personal way. You get to know the navigators by name. Jean. That's my girl. That's my girl. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how you could navigate, and that's truly why they call you breast cancer navigators. I don't know how you could navigate the waters of everything that's involved from an emotional perspective and decision perspective when you have been diagnosed with breast cancer without someone knowledgeable and loving to be there and hold your hand eight weeks into my chemotherapy. The majority of my lymph nodes had already returned to normal by the time I was scanned again in March of 2012. Uh, the liver tumor was completely gone and some of the, the lung tumors were also gone as well. So I've had a tremendous response and a partial remission. So here at the Rex Cancer Center we have two infusion rooms with plenty of infusion chairs and places for people to actually sit. Hi Miss Laura, how are you? No trip to the cancer center is complete without visiting or getting a visit from Miss Patty, who is our nutritionist. When I had first finished treatment, I had questions about how can I lose some of this steroid weight because I put on 50 pounds from all the steroids I had to take during my first treatment. And Patty sat down with me and we came up with a nutrition plan and it was fantastic and it took a long time, but I was able to get a lot of that weight off. This is it, I will be on some form of chemotherapy for the rest of my life. When you're stage four and your cancer's returned and spread, uh, they no longer consider you to be curable. But fortunately, they've come so far with cancer treatments that they treat stage four cancer more like a chronic disease and try to manage it like something like a diabetes. So you're on chemotherapy for the rest of your life, but hopefully that life will still be a long and full one. So we have every hope that I'm gonna be here for 40 years or more.